everyone. Welcome to Shape It Up. I am your host, Nicole Simonin, and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. So my goal is to deliver you daily tactics and strategies to help you jumpstart your weight loss even when you're over 40. So make sure you hit that subscribe button or your like button or whatever platform you are currently watching or listening this to this on. From now until the end of the year, I will be giving you daily tips to navigate your way through the holidays. So today we are going to be talking about Thanksgiving tips to keep your waistline trim. We have been talking about this for the past couple days and today is tip number six. So if you are just joining us, make sure you go back and listen to the other ones or watch the other tips um, because all of them together will help you stay on track for Thanksgiving. So I have always been one to do things fairly quickly. I make decisions fast, I jump in, I wait for the net to appear. <laughs> and in my younger years, my quick decisions probably helped me out a lot, like moving about 10 times in four years. Trust me, all great reasons why I decided to move. Um, one of the reasons was there was a dead body found in a dumpster near my apartment. So yeah, out of here, <laughs> not staying there. But as I've gotten older, I am finding that I speed through a bunch of things and I'm not always present, present in the moment, right? So like when I'm eating food, I tend to make it, I will sit and eat it, Sometimes I won't even sit, sometimes I'll stand. And before I'm done my last bite, I am up and on to the next thing. I am always looking to the future. So what's next? What's coming next? What can I prepare for? Maybe you are in a similar boat. Do you find yourself constantly doing this? So today's Thanksgiving tip is great for not just only Thanksgiving, but you can use it for other holidays that are coming up or gatherings. Um, and hopefully this will be very valuable to you. So tip number six, holiday foods can be a mix of traditional or what I like to call quote unquote everyday foods. Ideally, you wanna fill your plate with foods that you cannot get every day. So if you are at a Thanksgiving and they are serving donut holes or donuts that you can drive down the street at any time and buy, or cookies from the grocery store that you can get at any time, even cakes or pies that are store-bought um, that you could just get at any moment in your life. <laughs> Skip it. Don't go for that. Unless it's like something that's like your favorite. But don't waste your calories on the everyday stuff, especially when it's a holiday. You know, if there's a dessert that like Mima has only makes at Thanksgiving, those are the ones you want to go for. Have that. Enjoy it. So my tip is to really savor your favorite holiday foods and skip the everyday foods. When you're savoring your favorite holiday foods, shoveling food mindlessly into your mouth, and I know this from experience, right? I do this with my favorites sometimes too. It's like I can't get enough as quick as possible, but it's a way for your brain to not even register that you ate. So the faster that you eat, your brain doesn't catch up to say, oh, we just ate that. And then, if you do that, be aware and see how quickly your brain will ask for more. And it will ask it fairly quickly, especially when it's those dessert type items that are triggering chemical responses, um, dopamine effects like sugar and salt. Those types of foods will uptick very quickly and you're going to want more. So enjoy your food. Really taste it. Use all your senses. See how long you can make the yumminess last. So be present in each moment, even the moments that you're trying desperately to avoid, because especially if you're on a weight loss journey or if you're just starting or if you've been on a weight loss journey for you know 30 years and you constantly yo-yo back and forth of gaining and losing and gaining and losing, the losing part you're probably feeling great about and you don't mind enjoying those moments. But when you're not losing and you're gaining, those are the moments you need to sit in as well. You can't just kind of push it away and get, try to get past it as fast as possible. So when you're present in each moment and you're really kind of sitting in each moment that you have, whether again, it's gaining or losing or maintaining, you will learn so much about yourself while being present. 
So this is one of the foundations that I work on with my one-on-one -on -one clients. And my coaching process works. It is not some quick fix. It works if you work it. And being 100% committed to your weight loss goals is only half the process. Working together, you will always know what your next step is when you work with me. And if you are all in, you will lose the weight. Learning your foundation in your blueprint to losing weight means you will never not know what to do to maintain your weight for the rest of your life. So once you lose it, we're going to work together and, and help you maintain it and give you that blueprint that you need so you can take that information and use it for the rest of your life. To me, and I hear this from my clients, that is peace of mind. So if you want to lose the weight for life, let's get started. Head to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat and schedule your free consult with me today. All right, that is all for my tip for today, and I will be talking to you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.